One of the more unusual senses that some animals use is electroreception, or the ability to detect electricity and changes in electricity in the world around them. Now, most of these animals live in the water, especially in salt water, which is a far better conductor of electricity than air is. So animals in salt water can more easily communicate with each other or build up a picture of their whole environment using electroreception than other animals can. However, bees also use electroreception, but rather than attempting to build up a picture of the whole world around them, as far as we know it, bees are using it for a fairly specific purpose. Now as a bee flies through the air, the wings are beating furiously just to keep it aloft. Depending upon the type of bee, can anywhere between 130 and 250 beats per second. As the wings move through the air, they build up a small but significant positive static charge on the surface of the wings and the tips of the hair of the body of the bee. Now if the bee lands on the air, quickly ground the static charge, they again become electrically neutral. However, if they land on a flower whilst attempting to collect some nectar, the static charge is shared between the bee and the flower. As soon as the bee flies off, it will rapidly build up the static charge to its previous level. However, the flower will retain its slight charge for just a little while. This means that the bee visits, say, eight different flowers out of 20 on a particular bush before it's collected the full supply of nectar and then flies off to its hive. Eight of those flowers are now spoken to be empty of nectar, but also have a small electric charge. So when the next bee comes along, presumably from the same hive as the first bee, that bee can use its electroreception to tell which of the flowers has a small negative charge, which are neutral, and which are actually slightly positive charge. This bee can then deduce that positively charged flowers have been recently visited by its hive mate and not waste time and effort checking those out for the nectar. They can go to some of the other 12 flowers on the bush that will likely be fully loaded with nectar. This efficiency saving by only visiting each flower once possibly is behind bees being such superior pollinators. However, the static charge may also be being used by the flowers as well. Now, some flowers do have the ability to generate a small charge does have some advantages for the flower. Firstly, it works by advertising the bees, making it easier for the bees using their electroreception to take which flowers are ready for a visit. Additionally, it appears that the flowers can alter the charge depending on the state of the pollen, making themselves more attractive when the pollen is just ready to be transferred. The difference in charge between the flower and the bee also causes the pollen to stick to the hairs on the bee aiding in the process of pollination. Now what is really unclear at the moment is our extensive use of electronic devices is having any effect on bee activity and their ability to perceive the world around them. It's possible that in our high-tech world the electrical noise of our devices could be making it harder for the bees to identify which are just going to be the best flowers to visit.